Hello, I am Luis Nuño. I am a professor in the area of signal theory and communications at the Polytechnic University of Valencia in Spain. And now I'm going to explain the major scale in music. Western music is based on several basic principles. The most important one is, of course, the concept of octave and its division into 12 parts. This means that Western music is written with 12 notes. If we want to compose music, it is necessary to know which notes show great affinity among them. That is, which notes are affine among them. This concept drives us to the major key and major scale. They are a set of seven notes showing great affinity among them. This is in fact a very complete and versatile set. If we start with note C, for example, we can use this tool, which is the musical abacus that, that I showed several times, and we can find the first harmonics of C, which are notes showing affinity with C. We are going to keep only the first three notes, C, G and E, because the other two harmonics are a bit far from note C. If we want to find other notes showing great affinity with note C, we have to choose the most important note from C, which is its third harmonic, note G, and then we look for its first harmonics, which we can see here. They are, of course, note G, then D, and B. We can summarize what we did so far. We started with note C, we found its first harmonics, G and E, then we chose the most important note from C, which is G, and we looked for its uh, first harmonics, D and B. Now we can repeat the process, starting with a note lower than C, such that its third harmonic is C, that, knows, that note is F. If we look for its first harmonics, we find F, C and A. Now here we have a set of notes, apparently they are nine, but two of them are repeated, so they are actually seven notes. These seven notes form the C major key, C because we started with note C. If we sort out these notes by their pitch, we obtain the corresponding major scale, which notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and again C. The musical abacus gives us all the 12 possible major scales. For example, here we can see the C major scale, which notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. But we can choose any other tonic, for example, note D, and the musical abacus gives us its major scale. Here you can see the notes D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. The importance of the major scale in music is huge. The major scale has seven notes, and this is the reason why we use only seven names for the 12 notes. And these seven names correspond to the notes of the C major scale. In the piano, these seven notes correspond to the white keys and the black keys correspond to the altered notes. Other reasons for the importance of the major scale are that most popular songs and many other songs not so popular are composed in a major key. The staff, which is the diagram we use to write music, is designed in such a way that compositions in a major key are easily written. If we have a staff with any clef and any key signature, all the notes we write will belong to a major key if we don't use any accidental. As we saw, the design of the piano is also based on the C major scale. The so-called diatonic instruments, such as some flutes, harmonics, harps, xylophones, and many musical toes, only contain the notes of a major scale, normally the C major scale. The term octave comes from major scale. Octave comes from Latin language and means eighth. 
If we play a uh, major scale, for example C major, we start with note C, we play the other notes until we reach the next C. This second C is the eighth note in, the, in this series, so the term octave. The terms whole step and half step also come from the major scale. They are the distances between two consecutive notes in a major scale. Sometimes the distance is a whole step and other times it is a half step. When we will we'll study the intervals, we will see that the quality of the intervals, that is, if they are perfect, major or minor, that quality is based on the major scale too. As conclusions, a major key is a set of seven notes showing great affinity among them. This is a complete and very versatile set. To obtain it, we started with a note called tonic and we looked for its first harmonics. Then we went to the most important note from the tonic and looked for its first, its first harmonics. Then we chose a note lower than the tonic such that its third harmonic is precisely the tonic and looked for its first harmonics. With those notes we form the major key. If we sort out these notes by their pitch, we form the corresponding major scale. As I explained, the major scale has a huge importance in composition as well as in music theory and in construction of instruments. You can find all the information on the webpage harmonicwill.com. Thank you very much for your attention.